Welcome everyone. Uh, I hope you all are doing fine. So, welcome back to the channel again. Yeah. So, today we'll be starting our prosto, prostodontics with RPD. RPD are basically removable partial dentures that one can wear and remove easily whenever a patient has some of his permanent teeth present in his oral cavity and doesn't require a complete denture. Basically, those patients who have their some of teeth in their, uh, in their mouth, in their oral cavity, they are given partial dentures. Now, partial dentures can be of two types. They can be removable and they can be fixed. But here our focusing point is removable partial dentures. So we'll be studying about them in this, uh, for now, in, in the coming up lectures, in this lecture as well. So, uh, what happens when someone doesn't have teeth and why would someone require to have a prosto treatment in first place? So basically, what happens is patients have, uh, doesn't have teeth they have tooth loss so what are the consequences of tooth loss that uh, that patient have aesthetic impact they don't like themselves they don't like their smiles they have psychological impact that oh I should uh, when when I'm laughing or when I'm smiling I should cover my mouth or they con constantly think about themselves that they are not looking good okay they have changes in soft tissue there can be drifting or rotation or supra eruptions of their teeth there can be hyperplasia or hypertrophy of tongue. There can be TMDs or mucoskeletal problems uh, in this patient uh, who have doesn't have his complete teeth or they have tooth loss. Okay. There can be phonetics issues like there there can be some words or there can be some alphabets that he cannot pronounce um, uh, uh, correctly. Okay. Uh, there is decrease in masticatory efficiency. What is masticatory efficiency okay and there is this another thing that is swallowing threshold is also affected so what are masticatory efficiency and what is swallowing threshold so you see the teeth serve the role of reducing food to a point where they are ready to be swallowed okay so this induct index sorry index of food reduction is described as masticatory efficiency so what is masticatory efficiency the index of food reduction is called as masticatory efficiency and what is swallowing threshold basically when the patient is ready to swallow a bolus of food okay that point where he is ready to swallow the th food okay that point is your swallowing threshold okay i hope this both terminologies are clear here if not ask me in the comment section i'll and i'll like make you understand again okay so moving on objective of prostodontic treatment why would someone require to have a prostodontic treatment or what are the objective what what are you giving to a patient while giving him a prosto treatment you're eliminating oral diseases okay elimination of oral diseases preservation of health and relationship of teeth and oral and paraoral structures okay restoration of oral functions that are comfortable and aesthetic aesthetically pleasing that patient is comfortable while chewing his food there is no uh, like cheek biting while uh, doing that or while he is smiling, he is happy, he is like content with his smile, he, he knows he's look good, he's looking good or she's looking beautiful or, or, or whatever. Okay, so the patient is uh, satisfied with whatever restoration you are providing them. Okay, so technical quality, qualitical characteristics on what basis, basically this slide is explaining on what basis you are uh, evaluating the prosthesis that you are providing to the patient okay so integrity first thing you evaluate a prosthesis on integrity then excessive wear of posterior denture teeth okay presence of temporary realign material tissue conditioner or adhesive stability these are the points on which you evaluate a prosthesis that are that is being provided to the patient 
components of RPD. The next thing is components of RPD. What are the parts of RPD? Basically, we'll be studying about RPD and its component in the up upcoming videos like this major connector and minor connector rest feed. Uh, these, these things that are written here will be studied separately in topics and in chapters. So, uh, yeah. So, components of RPD are major connector, minor connector, rest feet, direct retainers, indirect retainers. There is a stabilizing reciprocal components which are basically class, okay. Bases that can be one or more in RPD, okay. So, don't like uh, confuse yourself for uh, right now. We will be studying all these things. I'll, I'll be explaining all these things separately in uh, uh, other videos, okay, in upcoming lectures, inshallah. So, that be all, I guess, yeah. And, uh, and one more thing, I forgot to tell you guys that these lectures that I'll be uh, delivering to you guys are from McCracken, okay. So, if you have any query, you can uh, comment down. Uh, on the videos and if you still want to know from where these lectures more information about the lectures you can ob obviously consult your books that are the basis of your study so yeah that be all please like subscribe comment and share on my videos thank you see you on other lectures amongst us take care bye bye